right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. by the bottom fighter. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters you have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. He's out. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Jones grounded pound from half guard. He is making these shots count. Lands with the ground and pound here. How good is that right hand? But again, lands with the right. Right punches there. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Jones's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. 90 seconds to go in round one. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Couple hammer fish there for good measure. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Jones. Oh, that'll work. The ground and pound strike is good. Let's go, let's go, finish this guy. Showing no signs of slowing down, and 87 total strikes have landed for Johnny Bones Jones. Good series. Double leg. Beautiful level change leads to the takedown. Jones gets caught by that blistering elbow. 
All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Solid strike on the ground. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Final seconds here. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. Deep breath, man. Breathe. You good? All right, awesome round. You won that round totally. You scored all those takedowns with beautiful. Okay, you ready? Round two. Ready? Let's go, fight! Johnny Bone. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Jones. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jujitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys can start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Jones. Useful strike there, the ground and pound on point tonight. Oh, elbow up top by Jones. Oh, some big punches raining down here, picking the spots well, and hasn't chosen to engage his opponent on the ground necessarily, posturing up and, and making these shots count. I mean, why would he when he's having so much success doing it in fighting in this exact same manner that's leading him to be ahead in this fight right now? Oh, that was nice, John. That was nice. What a takedown attempt. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman, just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, close guard now. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Jones's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Elbow, lead elbow, yes. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Jones has got full mount now. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. I mean, how many can he take? Lands the grounded pound strike here. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Two minutes remain in the round. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. 
Fighter trying to pass here. Uba gets denied. Gets denied. Great job. Great record. Oh, a good entry there to take the fight to the grappling realm. Now we'll see what he can do from here, champ. This is exactly where he wants to be. Look for him to try to use ground and pound to open up submission opportunities. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Jones. Nice hammer fist. Under a minute to go here in our second round. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Switching stances here. Punch coming, it's blocked. Beat him to the punch, beat first. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Beautiful body kick. Well, just exhausting watching some of these takedown attempts. He's unable to get it there. And he's attempting them over and over again. How long before he gets discouraged and accepts that this is going to be a stand-up fight? Let's get going now. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Ten Wait, minutes in the book. Ah. All right, so that's the end of the round. A lot of highlights from which to choose, but his success in that round certainly rooted in his offensive takedown game. And that's what he does, right? He's a grinder. He's the type of guy that wants to get a hold of you, drag you to the floor. It doesn't bother him that much if you get back to your feet. He just wants to continue to make you work the entire time because he understands this type of grind most guys can't keep up with. Are you ready? Are you ready? Third round underway. Oh, that was a double leg takedown attempt here, and that one is true. Nice job there to enter and ultimately plant his opponent on the mat. Now what does he do? That he's gotten his best shot off, finished the attack. Where does he go now from the top position? All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on. And attacking on bar. Him up and slams him down. Big explosive slam to lift him and slam him out of that armbar. Go right into side control. Now let's see what he does, right? Sometimes when you do that, the choke or the yes. submission can get tighter, but he was able to evade it there. Yes. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Jones is looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Jones is looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground side. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Able to land the 
single ground strike there. Side control now. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Oh, nice job to reverse this. Oh, pretty good entry there, and he gets the fight to his wheelhouse on the ground. Beautiful takedown into the full guard. Look for him to posture and use ground and pound to open up submission opportunities. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Johnny Bone. Ground and pound strike is true. Staying busy from bottom position here. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. The ground and pound has been there all night. Lands the ground and pound strike. Oh, Jones going to work here from guard. Nice combination there. Everything he throws is with fight-ending intentions. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. guys come together, man. You just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, that's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights over those five minutes. Really a clinic when it comes to the ground and pound. Yeah, man, this is what you're taught. When you're learning to become a ground and pound fighter, you want to do it exactly like he did. Gain posture, have height, control hands and wrists, land strikes, don't throw too many, throw just enough control, throw again, control. He did it perfect. All right, you ready? You ready? Now fourth round, fight schedule for five five minute rounds. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that landed. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Oh, oh, beautifully executed trip to get the takedown. Defensively, what are you trying to do to prevent that? Scene? You got to be so aware defensively, because if you're not, the moment you're out of position, a guy like this will find those takedowns with those trips in all kinds of different scenarios. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Blocked. he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Jones. Lands with the ground and pound. 
he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Jones's pass attempt denied. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. Let's go, let's go. Finish this, guys. Come on. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt. Not a great entry there, DC. Not a great entry. He showed everything he was going to do. He didn't hide his takedown. You knew from the moment this fight started he was going to go get a shot off. The opponent was ready, and he defended it right, perfectly. On. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch. Oh, nice scramble by him there. Takedown defense on point. He is a master in transition. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, is that a big knee to the body? We'll see if he can follow up. Oh, straight right. He blocks the shot. Man, look at his torso. That just can't feel good. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. And you got to think his opponent is going to continue to attack that leg area. Leg attempt here. Nice job to catch the leg and work it into a takedown. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Jones ground and pound from half goal. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effective strikes. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, he's got hand skills for days. Beautiful combination of punches to the head. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Well, he continues to work the body to great effect. Another kick landed there by Johnny Bone. the shot. Big body kick land. Huge, huge elbow there. How about those five minutes? Last round coming up. We got five minutes. I want you to go out there and finish this fight. He is All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Last round, guys. You ready? You ready? Let's go. Fifth and final round. Oh, man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits these takedown attempts. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Keep working. Give me those elbows. Man, it doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. 
Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Check the slick movement where he snuck the leg back in the middle. Now he's going to try to roll for a knee bar. Oh! Oh! And he's out. Keep busy, guys. Keep busy. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from bottom. Left punch is good. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Under three minutes now to go round five. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Jones. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. Oh, right in the mount. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. Two minutes now to go in the fight. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. All right, feet on the hips here. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, good entry there to take the fight to the grappling realm. Now we'll see what he can do from here, champ. This is exactly where he wants to be. Look from the try to use ground and pound to open up submission opportunities. Yeah, he's a half guard here. Working out of the half guard here. And he landed the right hand there. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. He's going to attack a triangle choke here. Oh, man, that was slick. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. All right, so a close fight goes the distance here tonight, DC. I know you're not a judge, but any lean to one fighter or the other? I mean, when I watched the fight, I believe that he did enough. But when these fights are this close, it's razor, razor thin. You don't know what the judges are seeing. I think he did enough. I think it was the striking advantage that he showed that should get him the victory, but we shall see. We'll see how the judges saw it. 
here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge one scores this contest, 48-47, Jones. Judge two scores it, 48-47, Lesnar. And Judge three scores it, 48-47, for the winner by split decision, Brock! Congratulations to him there, and I think five years from now they'll forget that it was a split and not a unanimous decision, but that was a close fight. I mean, that was a very close fight, and that's the most uncomfortable decision in the world, to walk to the center not knowing if you did enough to get the job done. Fortunately, he did enough, and he got the victory.